primetime pioneer here at Frontline Games. So our format is we're going to be doing four rounds Swiss, uh, 40 minutes per round because we want to get done by 10 p.m. So if you're joining us live, please do so. This time in our feature match, we have Nicholas Wright. He's playing Abzan Midrange. And we have Michael Shelton. He's playing Abzan Midrange. So we're going to see some Siege Rhino fights and start their time. So two right away from Mike. He's going to take from a shock land, and then he's going to take two from Thought Seas. We're going to see a scavenging ooze, fatal push, uh, uh, and then we see a uh, tireless tracker and four lands. So hopefully, if you're joining us, tuning in, chat tonight, let us know how we're doing. This format is so intriguing. Look at that. Gets a scavenger use taken away, and top decks mo moto gets another scavenger use taken away. So Mike being on the play, that kind of gives him uh, a little bit of advantage. I think he just plays a land tapped, plays the castle tapped, because then next turn he can play tireless tracker, get a clue. And here we see Siege Rhino. So C Drano, welcome you know to a format which is awesome for you. Let's look at that. All right, so Tyler's tracker coming down. We don't have clue tokens. We were talking about that. Yeah. Questing Beast coming in. Yeah. Nick's going to take eight, go down to nine. That's one big attack off Questing Beast. So Questing Beast and Siege Rhino being best friends right now. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> okay. So if Nick does things right, he gets another clue. He's going to be able to set up to do a fatal push. He's going to be able to set up. I think he should just wait till combat. Maybe he wants a card. He's got a thought seize. That's interesting. Siege Rattle gets the fatal pushed. Fatal push, fatal push. And then he swings for four. <clears throat> what a turn of events. As we see, Michael Shelton, welcome back to, to Magic. Abrupt Decay taking care of that. And then a scavenging ooze. So we might see another Abrupt Decay from... Oh, no, that looks like Assassin's Trophy. He's got a Murderous Rider, though. Could kill that, pay the two life, put it, and then play it? Is that the play here? Yeah, so that's what Nick does. All right. Corsair crew fix, play with it. Gets to play, uh, gain a life. Corsair crew fix a 2 4. Able to block the Murderous Rider pretty effectively. But the lifelink on Murderous Rider is pretty, pretty important here right now. No, uh, he just has lifelink, and then when he dies. Ooh, Avison is in uh, Nick's hand. That's a, that's a great draw. Mike down to one card in hand. So Nick could choose to Thought Seize here to see what that card is, to see if everything's okay, because he can do that and still cast the Avacyn, but that's up to him. And, you know, attacking in, I don't know if that's wise, even though he's going to gain two life. He does have a Shaveling Vents, which also has lifelink, so that's something else to remember. Nick deep in the tank here, thinking about his choices, his options. He's got three cards in hand, three spicy cards as well. He knows that Mike has one card in hand, and he's got a Murderous Rider on top of his library. Thought sees and a whiff. Assassin's Trophy is going to make him shuffle it up. It says search their library for basic land. Oh, yeah, May search. Yeah. Is it May search? Uh, and then take you for two. Game two. So. Go ahead. 
I'm gonna look up Assassin's Trophy here real quick. Why? Hey, Colin, how are you doing tonight? <clears throat> so destroy target permanent opponent controls. Its controller may search their library. So yeah, he doesn't need to shuffle. So he's now got a murderous rider of his own. <clears throat> murderous rider is really neat. So things are starting to shift. Uh, Archangel Avison really strong here for for that. I got a little bit of a cold, so I'm a little bit congested, Colin. So every now and then I have to turn off the mic, you know, clear my sinuses. Yeah. This weather's driving me nuts because you know it's supposed to be winter time, but it's it's like 60 degrees today. Ooh, Kalidus is a big draw here. <clears throat> so he could probably... <clears throat> so he attacks with four with Vigilance. Uh, Archangel Avison, such a great card. And then we see Kalidus coming down. We'll take a look at it. Uh, let's see what happens when it flips. It's because it flips when uh, a non-angel creature you control dies, and it transforms into the purifier. It deals three damage to each yeah. other creature and each opponent. All players, yep. Three damage to each other creature and each opponent. We were just looking at it. We were just looking at it. Yes. <laughs> All right, they're going to go to game two. So Nick picking up game one in the Battle of the Siege Rhinos. You're, you're thinking these decks might be responsible for, or in response to the red decks that have been doing well here lately? Yeah, so when you have your local meta game. A lot of times you'll make evaluations and you go sit there and say, hey, this is rising up. Okay, I'm going to build a deck to to uh, respond to that. And I think that's a fair assessment, BK. And how are you doing tonight, by the way? So he goes down to 18 and puts in a Sylvan Carotid. Mike would just land go. Siege Rhino's going to resolve. He's going to go 19 to 17. We saw how that worked out for Mike last time. He got the Siege Rhino down first. He's going to destroy it, and he's going to gain one life. So Noxus Grasp came in, obviously. Sitting there with a bunch of lands in his hand. Siege Rhino number two. The first one don't get you. The third and fourth ones can. Oops, sorry, I went the wrong way. So it's 15 to 22. Cooking dinner and watching your favorite stream. Oh, man. Is LSV drafting? No. Well, I'm glad that you think good, uh, very well of this stream. I like your support, too. You know, you watching the stream makes me happy. Obnixless coming down. Obnixless is, is pretty gas here for... Got to make sure I get the right Obnixless. So 
So Elspeth, Sun's Champion's pretty good. I think he needs to get rid of that Siege Rhino. But let's see. You draw a card, you lose one life. This is the dual deck art, by the way. Obnixless versus... Uh, versus um, Nissa dual deck. Nick down to 18 to 15 in Nick's favor. No LSV for me. Nassif once in a while. And Everos. I like Nassif. Gabriel Nassif, he's pretty good. Um, LSV's been doing the Vintage Cube lately, so that's been pretty fun. Oh, look at that. That's a pretty good card up top. Doesn't kill that Obnixilis. And if that Obnixilis um, ults, we could see some problems. So it's 16 all. 16 or 15, 16. I think the card advantage that Nick's getting here is just absolutely amazing. Maybe a tireless tracker. So when we look at Murderous Rider with Swift End being able to handle Planeswalkers, you know, that card's been doing a lot of great things. Um, I think a lot more decks need to start looking at Traverse the Ovenwald, because with Traverse, you'll be able to do a lot of different things. Of course, our crew fix doing some work here. It's going to abrupt decay the tracker, but uh, there's a whip of Erebos. He's going to go get a basic land and gain a life before it dies. It seems like a pretty heads up play. Some people may have forgotten that. Yeah. Right now, Sylvan Keratids looking at each other like, hey, if I had a soul formation, we'd be attacking. That'd be funny. Just kind of kind of show you, you know, each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power, and then you can target creature with defender can attack this turn as though it didn't have defender, and then creatures you control. I don't have that emblem. Whenever someone draws a card, whenever a player draws a card, and that emblem actually might kill. Um, Kill Mike pretty quick. Whip of Erebos is really good because their Siege Rhino is getting ready to come. So Mike takes two off drawing a card. He needs to find an answer quickly. That's not the right answer. Whip of Erebos being a four drop, he's able to stop it. And then he's going to lose another two. He's already at 12. I think you just start whipping in the uh, Siege Rhinos. Or just cast them. 18 to 9, 18 to 7. Emblem. Yeah, Questing Beast. I think Mike's dead here. Yeah. Go ahead. And there's the handshake as as Nick just uh, dominated there. You know, congratulations to Nick as he wins a round one game or round one against the Abzan Mirror. Uh, subtle little differences in their decks. Mike just drawing a bunch of lands in there, so I think he'll probably evaluate that situation. 
He had a lot of lands, and he, I think he mulled a six in that game, so that'll be interesting. I'm going to look around, see if there's another match for us to get on camera, because we have 22 minutes left. So stay tuned. You're watching Primetime Pioneer here at Frontline Games.